Welcome to John A. Mott Leisure Kingdom. My name's Richard, and today I'm going to share around this lovely Auto Trail Chieftain on a 2016 plate tag axle vehicle. It's six berth and four travelling seats. Let's show you around the in outside first, and then we'll show you around the inside. <clears throat> okay, as I said, it's on a 16 plate. It's on the uh, uh, three litre 180 uh, brake engine. It's done. 26,900 miles if you just want to show that on the air. Yeah, might do, but 26,900 miles. As you can see, it's got uh, alloy wheels and these lovely tyres. Okay, so um, with the Chieftain, you've got all the usual extras. So this one comes with twin batteries, plenty of room for your. Um, electric hookup leads an extra uh, extra you have this here which is an external locker so let's say you're going out for a walk and it's raining just put your dirty uh, um, wellies in here put some clean shoes on straight back inside it also has this uh, once i get that open outside shower point which is hot and cold as you can see okay this is your water fill point and the Chieftain, it's a transverse bed uh, across the back, so you get this huge garage. As you can see, you can get everything and the kitchen sink in there. Mm -hmm. And obviously two exactly the same size doors, so no matter where you parked, you can get your gear in. Okay, at the rear of the vehicle, as you can see, your um, spare wheel is underneath there, and you have your uh, colour reversing camera. Brilliant. On the near side of the vehicle, again, I know you've already seen in this, but again, locker from this side. Even though, just one thing to point out, even though you can store just about everything here, it's a 250 kilogram limit on the garage. Okay. So your trim vent, your toilet cassette, and um, your external barbecue point saves you looking extra canisters around. Fridge, fridge vents, gas locker, and uh, under storage locker from your front dinette here. Okay, you also have a massive awning out there and awning light. Okay, that's it for the outside. Let's see you on the inside. Okay, let's go on the inside. Well, first I'll show you, obviously the, all the auto trails uh, come with this uh, umbrella holder, which is really fancy, and uh, obviously electric step. Okay, as we go inside, I'll take you to the cab first, and then I'll do every, everything else afterwards. Okay, I'll just take a seat here, whee. Okay, as we can say, it's uh, 27,000 miles on the clock. You have underneath here, a point there for your leads. Uh, cab air conditioning, in the head unit here, obviously your radio, your media, your European satellite navigation and your phone controls. On your steering wheel you have your uh, volume controls for the radio and your Bluetooth controls for your um, telephone. It has a, a cruise control as well. Uh, part of the uh, pack on the auto charge you have what's called the media pack which is part of this head unit as well but also um, solar panel um, and you have a television aerial and a drop down Aptex television at the front. Okay so as I mentioned on the outside this is a six berth motorhome, Whoa, somebody's closed the door, six berth motorhome uh, with uh, two extra travelling seats so that's four in total. Uh, as you can see this version comes with what's called the L dinette, lounge it down there. And over, over the cab, you have your two berths as well. This, this pulls out and makes into a foot, and that folds out, makes into a full size uh, double bed. As you can see, this is set up for the traveling seats at the moment, but this cushion here goes just here for when you're not traveling to make up the lounge, uh, uh, lounge, lounge area. So it's plenty of room. In. So you've got one long bench seat down this side. Okay, you've got plenty of storage. You've got three really big lockers on this side. 
and on this side you've got your main control panel under on here with uh, some more another USB socket there just one thing to mention that I didn't mention outside it is over three and a half tons so you will need your C1 license on there that's just your uh, Mac um, television aerial showing your vision plus and your actual television aerial there okay uh, onto the uh, kitchen area as you can see you've got your sink there with this sink cover that acts as a chopping board but plenty of room for uh, cooking and chopping etc you've got your led under lights uh, here plenty of room for your knife and forks as you can see they are soft clothes as well which is really nice plenty of room for your cereal onto the actual cooking facilities you have got your three burner hob with your electric plate for when you are on site it does have a separate grill and oven this for saying it's done 26,000 miles the cooker looks like it's never been used and you obviously have your microwave oven there and some more extra storage so as you can see this is a beautiful vehicle plenty of storage plenty of room for everything that you need okay onto the fridge so you have a large fridge freezer so plenty of room for your wines and beers and a massive freezer for a motorhome plenty of room for your fish fingers got lots of fish fingers got loads of fish fingers in there <laughs> you might even get fish cakes as well okay <laughs> on to hanging space as you can see hanging space here if you store plenty of room up in boxes you get plenty of room in there so this is on the Truma, <coughs> Truma um, heating controls but this has a separate gas fire as well so on your Truma you can use it in gas and electric or gas and electric together and then you can use it as a, a separate you don't have to have that turned on you can use your gas fire separately okay uh, onto the rear of the vehicle obviously as you can we've already seen it's got a large garage underneath I'll let Wendy uh, show you the um, yeah. rear transverse bed as you can see plenty of room there storage for your books and iPads at the back there so on the driver's side of the vehicle you have your shower mm -hmm. there you go so a large shower and Wendy's gonna to have to stay there and I'm going to have to open this door yeah. so this door acts as a barrier as well so if you're having uh, friends to stay over and sleep down there this also acts as a door so there you go you've got your toilet even though I can't see it you got your toilet your mirrors uh, sink and um, vanity okay. unit and one last thing to mention if you just turn around uh, Wendy so if it's really hammering down in rain and you don't want to get stuff out of your garage if you place all the essential stuff here you do have axles Okay. you do have access to your garage as well from yeah. the inside okay this vehicle is on our site here at Don Amot Leisure Kingdom if you'd like any more information or like to come and look my name's Richard please pop along and we'll do our best to look after you thank you